My name is Sharon Brunk. Today I'm going to be testing the absorbency of sparkle paper towels. For this experiment, I will be using a hard plastic plate, a digital scale, sparkle paper towels, some colored water, which is purple so that we can see it, and a two milliliter measuring device. I will also be using a just a bowl for for product disposal and a timer and of course I'll be recording my results as we go. So let's begin. First thing we're going to do is we're going to take this plastic plate, we're going to place it on the scale and we're going to zero this scale out. This scale measures in milliliters, fluid ounces, and grams. For this test I will be using grams and the reason is is because we're going from both dry to wet measurement and it's more accurate than um, fluid ounces because not everything is fluid. So let's begin. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to make sure that our water is consistently measured at 86 grams. That is actually the weight of the cup plus the weight of the water combined. So that's going to be at 86 grams. That number needs to be consistent so that the test is not foul. We want them all to be the same amount of water. So the scale measures 86 grams. I'm going to go ahead and move that off to the side. Next, we're going to have to open this up um, already, but um, we're going to go ahead and measure the weight of the dry paper towels. These paper towels look like they are select a size. So obviously this little half a sheet isn't one sheet of paper towels. So we're gonna go one, two, that's gonna be one, and then one and a half, and then two. So that's gonna be two, two uh, sheets of this Sparkle brand paper towel. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna just leave it open for measurement's sake. Get my timer ready. And to perform this test, because we know that the water was 86 grams. The next thing we want to do is we want to weigh the paper towels. In this case, these two paper towels weigh 10 grams. I do want to double check and make sure that, it, just for consistency's sake, that if I were to fold the paper towels, that they do still weigh 10 grams, and in this case, they do. So that's good. It means that it wasn't, I don't know, fouled in any way. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to uh, kind of focus on that timer. You're going to see I'm going to pour the water before I hit the start button on the timer. And then next I'm going to take these paper towels and I'm going to hover them over the plate, but I'm not going to actually touch the paper towel to the plate yet. I'm going to just kind of hover it. And then at the same time as I hit the start button, I'm going to drop this paper towel into the water, touch it a little bit to make sure that it's actually contacting the water, and then we're going to watch and see how much it absorbs in 30 seconds. Go. The reason that uh, the clock is set for a minute is because uh, for continuity, I didn't want to have to stop the timer, try to fiddle or mess with uh, anything, manipulate anything, and then um, restart the timer. I, I felt like that wouldn't be consistent. Um, so we've got another second. Now I'm going to go ahead and lift this paper towel up. And what we're going to be doing is we're just watching for the amount of water that drips out for 30 seconds. The reason that we're just letting the water drip and I'm not squeezing it or manipulating the paper towel that way, and anyway, I'm just kind of holding it by the corners is because I don't have any way of measuring how strong of a grip I have and, and how consistent that is. So it looks like this timer is just about done. I'm going to go ahead and move this over here. I'm going to hit the stop button on the timer. And this uh, paper towel left behind 22 grams of water. So now we're going to take this and we're going to pour that in here without. Uh, getting water on the computer, of course. <clears throat> and we're gonna weigh, how much does this paper towel now weigh that it's been, um, had a chance to absorb water? 
if this paper towel now weighs 45 grams. That's pretty good. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this right over there for disposal. I'm gonna take a, a paper towel and I'm gonna dry off this plastic plate, 100%. No water left behind. Just a little shine from the outdoors. Now put this plate, well, let's make sure this scale is completely dry too. Okay, we're gonna put this plate back on the scale. Move that up. Okay, you see, we're gonna go ahead and zero that out. Now we're gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and weigh the two paper towels again, just to make sure that that's nice and consistent, that I'm not uh, manipulating any of the results. So this is test two. This paper towel weighs nine grams, or these two paper towels together weigh nine grams. I set that aside. The next thing we're gonna be testing is uh, measuring the water. As you recall, for the measurement of the water, we're not measuring the cup alone or the water alone. We're measuring the two together. When we have these two things measured and added up together, the goal or the actual target that we will hit is 86 grams. There's 85, one more drop. Never works out, but we'll try. Boop. 80, oh, eight. no, ah, oh, yep, it was. It's kind of bouncy, so it must be it was just a little drop. There we go. 86 grams of water. So now we've weighed the paper towels. We've weighed the um, water. Now we just need to reset our timer. So again, this is going to be a one minute test, 30 seconds for absorption and 30 seconds for water runoff. And we'll just see how much this all weighs um, at the end. So here's our water going into the plate. And go ahead and hover this paper towel over the plate again. Not touching, not touching. Kind of hard though because it's a big paper towel. And here we go, start. And I'm just going to touch it just to make sure it gets in there. And that is doing a great job absorbing water today. Three, two, one. I'm going to lift this up. I'm going to just let that drip off for a minute. Or actually 30 seconds, I guess, huh? Get out of there before I do anything. Okay, there we go. So now we're gonna see how much this wet paper towel weighs. And consistent with the first one, this one weighs 42 grams. Oh, I guess I didn't say um, out loud, but when um, we measured the water, uh, the water that was remaining on there, it was 23 grams worth of water that was sitting on the plate. Okay, now that was test number two. Now we're gonna move on to test number three. Okay. The first one was 10 grams, the second was nine grams, and the third one is, hmm, it says eight grams. I just wanna make sure I'm not doing something funny here. Actually, it's nine grams. Okay, so the second, the third test is nine grams, which is consistent with the second test. I'm gonna kind of set that aside. And we're gonna measure the water in the cup. I have it 86 grams. Move that out of the way. 
Let me touch my screen, reset this timer. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and put the water on the plate again. And we're gonna take this dry paper towel and hover it over the plate. And now we're simply gonna get this test going. So here we go, one, two, three, go. So this is the final test for Sparkle to see how much water it absorbs. We're basically doing that by finding how much the paper towel weighs before it's wet, using a consistent amount of water, and then figuring out how much the paper towel weighs when, um, when it was dry, and then of course when it was wet after the test. Like that. Three, two, one. I'm gonna go ahead and I'll lift this paper towel up and we're gonna just watch the water kind of drip off. Again, the reason that we're not squeezing the paper towel, we're just letting it drip, is because we have no way of measuring how tight my grip would be in order to wring the water from the paper towel. One time it might be harder than, or, or softer, and that might create a bias, and that's not what this test is about. Okay, so there we go. I'm going to go ahead and move that over. This is 25 grams of water left behind on the plate. Now we're going to take this water and remove it from the plate. And now we're gonna see how much this is wet paper towel away. This wet paper towel, consistent, pretty consistent with the others, weighs 42 grams. That is the end of the sparkle experiment. Have a great day.